come in, please watch the chat box for timing. You can just slate your name and your outlet, and you may begin. Hi, I'm Matt Prater from Vision Christian Radio in Australia. How are you going, guys? Hey, hey. Well, hello, Australia. Good day. <laughs> Good day, mate. mate. <laughs> it is great to chat with you guys. I'm a massive fan of The Chosen. And uh, if you could just start by firstly telling us, what are your roles in The Chosen? Thank you. My name is Vanessa Penavente, and I play Mary Mother. Hi, my name is Abraham Bueno Gelat, and I play Big James. Very cool. Now, tell us a little bit about how you got involved in The Chosen. Was it something that you felt like your whole life was preparing you for this? Um, uh, I don't, I don't know. I definitely felt like I, a really strong connection to the material. I had just. Well, not just become a mother. I was a fairly new mother. My baby was uh, uh, 10 months old at the time. And uh, I just had a very visceral reaction to what she was going through. Like, I think I understood the stakes and, and what I had to bring um, uh, to, to make this, this scene very real and believable. And, and it's... To this date, I think the best audition I've ever, I've ever had, I've ever done, and um, and it took. I thought I would get a, a a call back. A call back is like a second audition where you meet the producers and the director. And I didn't hear anything for four days. <laughs> I thought, what do I have to do to get a job in this town? It's like, <laughs> not nothing is enough. And then, four days later, they told me, you're booked and you have to go to Texas. So, that was. Yeah. Oh, for, oh, so for me, it was, uh, you know, I was kind of always a bridesmaid, never a bride with auditioning for this show. I was like, I, I tried four different times, many different characters. And then, you know, like you talk about everything in your life leading to this moment. It, it was sort of interesting because um, when I finally did get the call, it was not because of anything that I did. It was because... You know, it was like um, bottom of the ninth. That's an American baseball, um, you know, reference. sorry, <laughs> reference. Just means the clock was ticking and they needed they needed somebody to step up to the plate. So I'm so glad that they thought of me. And yeah, in many ways, uh, who can control all of those circumstances? So I was slated or faded, whichever way you want to look at it. Yeah, I'm so excited about season four coming out. I've watched all first three seasons with my wife and kids. We all love it so much, and it's going to be in cinemas. Uh, what, can be, what can we expect? Is there any, uh, have you got any spoilers for us or any, uh, any uh, breaking news about the next uh, episode? Well, as you know, we're halfway through, so without, without giving you any spoilers, I'm going to leave it up to the excitement of the fans to decide where ex exactly how do we go and how do we get to the place that we know we're all going. Um, mm -hmm. And I think season four is going to give you a little bit of the taste. And some of it is going to be really sweet. And some of it might be bitter. Mm. And do you guys have like a favorite scene uh, from the last few series? Like I love the Sermon on the Mount. I love the, the moment when Jesus met Mary Magdalene, when Jesus healed the leper. Like there's so many great memories. Do you guys have a favorite one that stands out for you? Um, like for our character or in general? Because I yeah. have both. <laughs> For your um, character, yeah. For my character, I just loved the her monologue and um, in season two, episode three, um, mm. by the campfire. Yeah. I felt like that's such great writing, and you know, it's not easy to to hear in in a TV show to hear, especially not from Mary Mother, to hear about her own. Uh, feelings and even frustrations with with her relationship in regards to the relationship with her son, right? And and I felt like that was so universal. Even to this day, I've I've gotten messages from both m mothers and and fathers because they're they're all empty nesters and they feel mm. that connection with their with their kids is is somehow not lost, but. Um, uh, you know, not as it used to be, and, and it hurts, it breaks their hearts. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Now, now our time's almost up, and I've got to be quick, but just wanted to say, you're in a movie 
uh, released later this year with Miranda Otto, who's an Australian actress. Oh my gosh, yes. And uh, she's related to my wife. So we're basically cousins, <laughs> you and me. So, yeah. so, Good so to you meet you. You need to come down and visit us in Australia one day, hey? Let's oh. go. Hopefully sooner Send the or request. Later. Send the request. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're so excited about The Chosen uh, Season 4, and thank you for joining us. God bless from all of us in Australia. Have a good one. Cheers. Thank Take you. Bye-bye, Australia.